day six in the new house and it's an absolute shit show. But I am, oh God, I'm a show too. Anyway, I am <coughs> going to take the big dogs for a W-A-L-K. Look at that bruise. Um, because. Does anyone else have to spell that word so their dogs don't cotton on before you're ready to leave? I'm hoping that by taking them, I haven't got rid of it, you still like to, taking them on these said walks, let's just put that there, um, you know where my hairbrush is, that they won't bark the neighbourhood down while I'm at the other house cleaning, so... Like I said, day six, I'm recommended. I ache on every pore. Um, my shins, my calves, my feet. By the end of the day, they're so red and swollen. I am so unfit, so overweight and so miserable. <laughs> However, I'm extremely grateful and you know, we're getting there. The tooth fairy was supposed to come. Mum bail. I'll sort that out later. Okay. Get dressed. I haven't brushed my hair for about four days. I'm gonna go over to the old house and clean today. Or we'll finish packing up what's there. Um, and then after that, I am hoping. It will be empty. I'm gonna move from front, no, from back to front and just clean as much as I can. Priority today is get all the kitchen stuff out because I haven't got any of that. The pantry is bare here. I haven't been vlogging as much as I would like to because I've just been head down, bum up, and just working, working. But um, hopefully I can make up with that. For that, with some content, I have definitely unpacked stuff that I thought, oh, this can go. So there's lots of decluttering that will be coming your way because, yeah, definitely realizing with this much smaller space and, um, yeah, just <laughs> things can go. So once I've got some boxes emptied, I'll have some boxes to give away. So anyway, let's get dressed, take these dogs for a walk. So this was just us moving what we could in this truck that we borrowed. This was what was left over after that particular day. So just taking you on a tour through the house, it was a complete disaster zone. Zero planning, to be honest. We were just trying to get it done in the shortest amount of time possible. Um, the kitchen remained like this for quite some time. We weren't ready to move through all of that but we were just trying our best to kind of get everything big that we could lift ourselves out of the house and then what I could do afterwards. So this camera is, well, camera work is done by Roro. So she's just taking you through what is left in the house on this particular day. So it was really difficult because we were using a borrowed truck in limited time, also working full time, also trying to have some kind of semblance of order and routine for the kids. So um, it was all a little bit tricky, but we got there in the end. Uh, some friends, we had two friends come and help us move on one particular day, which was fantastic. They helped us get all of the big stuff out. This is the rooms that I will show you later as I clean. Um, but yeah, they're coming together slowly, one room at a time, getting emptied. But yeah, this was just so overwhelming, as you can well imagine. But um, yeah, lots of decluttering happened. Lots got thrown out. Lots got moved and then thrown out, not going to lie. <laughs> it was some of that. But uh, yeah, can't believe we've moved and looking back at this footage is pretty crazy but we've come a long way. Hello, it is, I don't know, quarter to five 
and all of our worldly possessions are in this house. I look like a sumo wrestler. Every time I found a hair tie at the old house, I put it in my hair so that I could find it. See how many I had in here? <laughs> um, it has been, yeah, eye-opening to see. Oh my God, I might have too many in here. Um, how much crap I have accumulated over the years and it's going to be a lot of decluttering content no doubt about it <laughs> I can't get anything out of my hair it's three it's not even all of them four five six Seven, two went flying. <laughs> My God. <sighs> okay. All right. I really want to wash my hair, but I'm going to wash it before I go to work tomorrow. So back up it goes. Just one hair tie. <sighs> Until I can wash it tomorrow. All right, this is what is left. I'm going to take those curtains down, obviously. Stuff all over the place. Come down here to Maeve's room. Start at the top. Dusting, cleaning. Get all that. The walls. There's marks all over the walls that I'll try to get off. Um, but ultimately, I'm going to... Clean all the window tracks. The windows on the outside have been cleaned, just got to clean the inside. So there's that. We've got ants there. Joy. Okay, and also, I'm not really sure. That looks like mold. It might be dust. We'll give it a shot. Turns out it was in fact just dust and I am using the Norwex duster here to just give it a really good once over. Starting at the top and working my way around. I'm actually scared of heights so <laughs> I'm standing on a stool here and feeling rather uncomfortable but I get it done. Um, yeah, so dust all around bit by bit. I recommend the Norwex duster, um, probably more frequently than what this room was done. As you can see, the fan was feral, but if you are in the process of moving out, start at the top and work your way down. And that is the best way to do it. I would also recommend probably not leaving it this late to get it done or this bad. I will say that the new house is so much easier to clean the new appliances, fresh paint, all the rest of it really does make a difference. I was thinking that I was just the world's worst housekeeper when I was looking or doing all of this, but cleaning this new house is so much easier. So I think this house just really needed a good once over. Um, it will obviously never be good because it's 15 years old. Um, little hot tip for you, get yourself a paintbrush and this cheap shop vac and when you're doing tracks you can just dust in there it's genius now this shop vac i don't know i think it's a ryobi maybe it was maybe 150 dollars from bunnings which is like our hardware store and it's the best vacuum cleaner i've ever owned in terms of like a good proper high powered thing um it's not great for just everyday vacuuming but if you've got like big chunks of dust and dirt and everything it's genius it also has a blower function on it which is fantastic as well so right now i'm just going through before i add any of the water or wiping or washing or anything i'm just dusting all of the dirt and whatever else is on there so moving along okay so open the carpet the fan is all done the light thingies are done those are our hooks, but we'll leave them here. Window has come up really nice. This is nail paint peeling, which is, again, 
landlord issue this is all nice and clean in here so beautifully clean mark on any of this window very clean this is rotted from the sun so not much I can do about that it's the outside to do on the window but wash down all the walls said all the doors vacuumed for what it's worth <laughs> and that's that light switch nice and clean I uh, just noticed a mark somewhere up here, but hopefully they paint this before the new tenants come in. So that is that scrubbed this part along here, but otherwise it's as good as it gets. Closing that door and actually I'm going to turn the fan on. Now, Austin's room, I did vacuum, no, I did clearly. I've got this big mark on the wall here that's really quite obviously dirty, so I'm going to clean that. Lots of dints and things. We'll leave in the curtain rod. We will dust um, the cobwebs. Clean out this. And along here, it's really dirty. filthy in here lots of cat hair and mess um, the fan it's not done needs a good clean lots of cobwebs um, one two light switches so or bulbs this door it's really dirty there is that there so we expect that um, this as well I guess this door will have to be properly painted but I think you know after 12 years this is really dirty so I will clean that off um, yeah <laughs> okay done I didn't clean up there I'm not gonna lie but the wall door is all clean, dust free. Got that mark off the wall there. You can see where I haven't cleaned properly. Get onto that all dust free up here. And window is super clean down in here. hard to no, I can see I could probably do with a bit one more back I'll do a vacuum before I leave otherwise it's as good as I'm doing today that will do okay so here is the last look at Austin's oh no this is the yeah that was Maeve's room all done all the walls were washed and clean all dust free and clean here's Austin's room all finished and it looked pretty good it came up pretty well and then we have the other kids bedroom which was all done as so another quick before and after in Austin's room so this was the window beforehand and then I will show you the window after for whatever reason I didn't get a tour of the whole house when we moved out but um, these were all the same kind of standard I made sure that every part was done um, and I was pretty happy with it the real estate was not so there's that but we won't go into that real estates are who they are and um, I'm sure you could just do a little search around on TikTok to hear about how all that goes for lots of people but anyway that is the satisfying before and after so check your subscribed the next vlog will be at the new house and all about getting settled there Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Cheers.